YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is also episode two. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. As you guys can see, we are going to be rebuilding both of these GR86s. You guys can see on the first video, we did kind of walk around and show you guys most of the damage or whatnot. And if you haven't already watched that video first, so you guys can kind of stay up to date. Super cool, kind of walking around both of the cars and showing you guys. But on this video, like I said, we are going to be working on that blue one. Our priority, honestly, is to be working on the blue car first, just because obviously the damage is lighter, something we can kind of work with here and not, whatnot. But um, we do need to get those seatbelts shipped out, so that is our main priority for today's video. We need to get those seatbelts removed, and uh, maybe we can work on the airbag module. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Maybe I'm going to try to kind of do some research on it. If not, we're just going to go ahead and get in the car, kind of maybe try to find it ourselves. Maybe you guys are looking for it as well, and you guys can kind of look off this video. Also, we're going to be trying to fix that Brendan as you guys can see on that car right there and I guess yeah thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into the video all right guys when you guys are working with the seatbelts don't forget you will need to disconnect the battery obviously so you don't want to cause more lights or whatnot all right guys jumping straight into the blue car here we are going to be removing the seatbelts so as you guys can see they are both locked up and then we obviously will most likely be need, needing to remove um, I'm assuming we're gonna have to remove this one and this one right here as you guys can see the seatbelt obviously goes down right here and the airbag module for the old generation was pretty much behind or on bottom of the radio so should be kind of somewhere right here we, um, maybe are we are going to take off the radio and kind of go from there <music> guys so we're kind of removing some of this right here we are kind of getting a little more access to the seatbelt so you guys can see so to remove this one I actually did find the bolts right here bolt right up here and as well as the other side and for this one we just have to kind of pry this piece up there we go and then this piece should kind of just come out All right, so we did remove this trim piece right up from the top there, but we still don't have access. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the trunk and we're going to put the seats down. All right, now as you guys can see, opening the, those two clips, this all should pretty much just come right out. All right, now this should be, there we go. Perhaps right out. Just what we wanted. Nice. So on, obviously, like I said, you don't need to remove this um, piece at all. But we are removing it just because, like I said, there was a ding somewhere back here. We're gonna go ahead and try to mess with it. Try to probably pop it out. So as you guys can see, we did remove finally the full trim piece there, which is right over here. Kind of popped out a little. Kind of did give us some trouble, honestly, with the clips. Now that we have this fully opened up, so to remove the seatbelt. We obviously do just need to remove these two and then from the bottom. This piece should pretty much come right off. There we go. Prize right off. One piece stuck on the roof. There we go. All right, guys, we do have a little smaller tool here to kind of to pick at this little airbag thing. Here we do disconnect this one, just pry this yellow one right off. Now we just need to get a 12 and a 10, I believe it is, and we just disconnect this and the full seatbelt assembly should just come right off as well. We do need to take this one off. Alright guys, so once you remove that bolt right there, we do remove all of this, and you guys can see it all just comes right off. 
in this part right here, we just take the seatbelt off from this. And this thing should just come free. There we go. I do have to ship this whole thing out and get it reset so the seatbelt's not locked no more. We're gonna go ahead and continue on that side and then we're gonna go ahead and remove the airbag module which should hopefully be somewhere right here. Hopefully it doesn't give us some trouble. All right guys, we're gonna take a break from working on the cars. We're gonna go get some Chick-fil-A and the Tesla. Maybe we should rebuild one of these in the channel. What do you guys think? Model 3. All right guys, so you guys know the first part is to remove the top portion here and then we're gonna go ahead and work our way down and remove that. I guess we could start removing this little trim piece down here. Just pry that thing up and then you kind of just remove the weather stripping from here and then we'll go from there. So we did just remove the top portion of it now. As you can see, just came right off. Now for this one, we are gonna actually have to disconnect. So now we removed the two airbag resistors things like I told you guys. Pretty much just pry them off in the top, they just pop right out. So now the next step, we just have to remove this uh, 10, and then I believe that one should be a 12. All right guys, so now we do have both sides fully disconnected, as you guys can see, no more seatbelt. Honestly, it was pretty easy to remove them. This side was a little more trouble because we did have to take off the big trim piece. Um, we are going to be trying to remove the airbag module, which should be somewhere in here. There is no videos on it, on the new generation, but on the old generation, it was somewhere in here. So we're hoping it's in the same location. All right, guys, we are back. After picking at this thing for so long, we're still trying to figure out how to remove the radio because pretty much I think removing the radio I was removing this, there's no videos on how to remove this, so I kind of started prying this thing out. It's kind of hard because the airbag did deploy here, but I believe that right there should be the airbag module. Still kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to get myself in there. Tried removing this, but it looks like it's all one big piece kind of connecting on that side. Alright guys, quick update here. We actually did remove the two bolts right here that I believe were a 10, yeah. So two 10 millimeter bolts that go here. You can see the radio is starting to get a little more free. And you can see right down here, there is a bolt right there, another 10 millimeter, and hopefully that should let the radio free, and that will give us more access. All right guys, we're moving slowly, but we finally did disconnect the radio, so we disconnected all the bolts, removed everything from this side. Now the next step is going to be removing pretty much Every single wire back here, so you guys can see it is quite the mess of wires. Whole radio disconnected, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take those wires and I'll pick up the camera when we're done. All right, guys, now after some time, we finally did get the radio removed, which was honestly a little harder than I thought because these cables, I think it was this one, super stuck on there. I don't know, I had to pry it. And this trim piece that actually connects right about here. I started kind of messing with this side side and then it actually just kind of started getting loose and I noticed that it was actually a separate piece. Pop that right off and then those two little screws right here, took these off and now this whole piece finally comes off, which is super cool that it actually did come off in one piece and not damaged. The next step I think I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to remove the little screw right here right down there as well and hopefully we could take off this ac unit because i am looking right here and that does look to be the airbag module right there which is a good sign so we're gonna go ahead and remove these two <laughs> Alright guys, we finally did get the full unit out as you can see from the back. A lot of disconnecting right here and then a lot of clips which was giving us a headache now to kind of show you guys what we've been trying to do this whole time which is this right here. This is the airbag module. All 
right guys so you can see we did remove one of the nuts there now we'll go ahead and just kind of remove the other one hopefully installing these isn't too hard there you go so there's two of them now I can kind of just go ahead and oops go ahead and put all this back up and then we're gonna go ahead should just need to remove this last one hopefully the thing just comes right out all right guys so upon removing the last bolt right here I actually did just unplug this thing right here which was kind of trouble honestly it did give me some trouble and then this was the last 14 so pretty much this one is a 14 the other ones were 12 so pretty much just disconnect that and then the module should pretty much come out let's go ahead and try to wiggle this thing out and is it connected by anything else there we go all right guys so here's the module finally took it off this thing took me quite some time because all these wires and there being no videos on youtube so i guess i was the first one to do it if you guys maybe want to take off your module so pretty much you do need to disconnect the radio just so you can get those access to those two nuts in the back which were those two and then you need to disconnect these as well because so you can have access to the last 14 right here and then the module should pretty much come right out did take me a little longer than i expected we have what we need so we're pretty much going to be sending all these three stuff off to uh get reset all right guys so today's video goal was complete we pretty much did remove all of the wiring right here so we did have to disassemble pretty much the whole entire center console dash piece up to right here obviously this was still here but all of the wires had it to come disconnect so all for the ac as you guys can see over there the push to start we did have to disconnect all these just to have access to pry out the last piece of the radio we did have to disconnect as well all of the wires that connected to the radio and this thing is pretty much just getting held on by one we're probably going to disconnect that right now just so we don't have it hanging like this and as well the two nuts that were all the way in the back so let me see if i could kind of show you guys so you guys could see that that stud right there and then that one right there the one that's highlighted in white those two and then where the bolt is located right now we're the last three to disconnect the module so we disconnected the module now we got these two passenger and driver seat belts we're going to be going ahead and shipping these out and because they were both locked we're going to go ahead and get that reset so we don't have the airbag light no more so we will we do have the airbag on order as well as this one that's going to be for a different video we will be disconnecting this hopefully it's not as much trouble as this and this i mean pretty much should be pretty easy all right guys but that about wraps it up for today's video we did get what we wanted to get completed for this video and for the next episode we're going to be continuing uh probably removing the wheels and maybe checking further further damages we might also install the airbags we'll see if they come in in time or not if not that'll be for a different episode but for today's video we did get the seat belts uh removed as well as the airbag module maybe we can help you guys out as well if someone wants to disconnect it or if you guys are having trouble maybe this video can help you guys out but that about wraps it up for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next episode peace